Go, please, everybody concentrate. Quiet. Renowned producer and director Martin Campbell delivers high voltage action and exhilarating suspense in one of his best directorial outings. You know, in his head, he's already cut this whole movie. So you get in there and he knows exactly what he wants, which is the way I like to work. You know that what he's going after is what is exactly right for his vision. And as an actor, that makes you really feel secure that what you, that you're going to wind up with something that's good. Don't do that because it looks like she's got such a fright she turned. Do you see what I mean? And to be able to do a movie like this, you have to be a little bit crazy. And I just find that really appealing to be able to work with a director that is as hard and tough and as wonderful and warm as he is. And in your own time, Bill, action. Come in base, this is Summit Team, do you read me? Come in base, this is Vaughn Summit Team, do you read me? Got it. <coughs> Shouldn't I just keep doing it? I love the way he puts us through our paces on these shots, and I love the way he knows every shot that he wants. Now, just a couple of notes. Take the step, don't dwell too long before you okay. do it. But just, okay. just make them sort of... talks to the actors and he won't stop until he gets it perfect. The actors have got to trust you that you know what you're doing um, and that you know the secret of all directing is to know the script and the characters better than anybody else, as simple as that. He lives, sleeps, breathes and eats this movie and um, I've never been offered the kind of uh, rehearsal that I have by him in a big movie ever. He will answer any question that you have, I mean, it's, it's amazing. If I were him, I'd be in an insane asylum. K2. The most deadly, the most feared, the most highly prized jewel in Mountaineering's crown. For every ten climbers who reach the summit, the bodies of another seven lie frozen on its unforgiving slopes. But K2, since it's much more of a challenging all-around climb, it's more of a prize. And, and there's a lot of climbers that are willing to push beyond certain logical limits just to climb the mountain. And as a result, a lot of people get into trouble on K2 and often don't get down. The mountain plays the monster, basically. I guess it's the monster that they have to overcome. If you think of um, George and the dragon, well, it's the dragon. Cut it, and we cut. Feet up for you. They're yeah, not bad. Steve, just hold there for a minute. Just go to your rider whisker. We take our actors to eight, nine, ten thousand feet and put them in an environment okay. which is so as extreme and is as dangerous and as beautiful and as wonderful as the real thing in the Himalayas. Mount Cook, a worthy stand-in for the deadly K2, can be just as treacherous for those prepared to take their endeavor to the vertical limit. The glaciers are as big, the crevasses are as deep, the terrain is as steep. The weather is as bad, uh, and the scenery is, is as beautiful, so it's, it's a very good location to shoot a film like this. Parallels can be drawn between the dilemma the production and safety crew face and the drama they are trying to create. You know, K2 is the harsh mountain in the world to climb. I know it's been the, this production's villain on many occasions, or should I say the weather to go along with it. And it's a little scary because the storms can move in so fast when you're up there. We were filming. I remember looking up and there was a bit of a cloud behind us. I looked back, looked through the view and came up and suddenly we were hit. <laughs> we were surrounded by 
and complete whiteout. They had to, they couldn't even get the equipment off. They just had to get all the people off. So uh, that that makes it kind of exciting. Gives it a little bit of an adrenaline rush. Let's start packing it up. We're out of here. Stop packing it up. Let's pull that set up off the hill. What did they say over there? Did you hear? Coming in. We've got tents, sleeping bags. Worst case. Come on up if you're ready to go and you got a harness. Step on up. We'll rope you up. <laughs> My hands are gone. What's, what's yours, Mari? This one. Um, um, um. <laughs> Glamorous. <laughs> wow. Take it nice and slow. Go to the pace of the person in front. Up here, the weather is notoriously difficult to predict. If it does turn vicious, you should really be someplace else. Ed Veesters, it's an honor to meet you. Elliot Vaughn. Nice to meet you. Hey, you wouldn't believe this guy. Five times up Everest. One of the only men to climb 12 of the world's 14 highest peaks. All without oxygen. I was there in 92, and on our ascent to the summit, uh, it had started as a, as a really nice day, and the clouds then slowly rose up and engulfed us, and it started to snow. And we started, we kept climbing, and all of my bells and whistles were saying, Ed, turn around before it's too late. And, um, and the, the guys that I were with weren't really as alarmed as I was. And I should have listened to my intuition and turned around. Um, but I kept putting off that decision every half hour. And, and the next thing you knew it, I was on the summit. But coming down, it was quite harrowing. And I thought we weren't going to make it down because of the severe avalanche conditions. And uh, you know, when I did make it down, I was real angry with myself for what I'd done just to get to the top of the mountain. You start to realize the high that these guys must get when they summit these, these incredible mountains. And some of the stories that these guys have, I mean, they've, a lot of them have been in truly life and death situations. It was the only mountain I'd ever been on where, uh, you know, people uh, climbing uh, around us were, were dying. But uh, I do admire these people, but uh, it seems like in retrospect, a certain foolhardiness to, to, to defy nature and try to get up to a position where if you if the weather changes at all and suddenly you're you're you know you're 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 in a death sentence up there. If it storms high on K2, my advice to anyone going to K2 is to drop everything and run for your life. It's just a really unforgiving mountain to be on and when a storm's coming. You've got a major storm coming in from the south. You've got to start down. <sighs> Who is this? Peter Garrett, did you copy about the storm? The scenarios on the movie, I mean, the, 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 the weather and, and, and the fact that there's people, you know, pushing very hard for the top, not willing to turn around, uh, um, those are all very typical scenarios. I, I'm sorry, Elia. I am, but you are paying me to make these decisions. I thought I was paying you to get me to the top. Oh, I think everybody can say ideally how they'd react in uh, a life or death situation. None of us are going to make it. You want to survive? Go and get it. That's what I thought. You don't know if a plane was going to crash, if you'd be the person who was helping children, or you'd be the person who's knocking them out of the way. That's going to be a speed ascent climbing in pairs. I think it's suicide. There's not a chance he's not going after her. We're going to take the audience on a magic carpet ride. This is never, was never going to be an easy movie to make. Oh my God! The movie's going to be just a, a tour de force. You have to go into a blind. If you've thought about it too hard, you'd never do it. I got 22 hours if they're lucky. Don't risk it. I won't let my sister die. That's the best reason to make something because you're afraid of it. And at the end of it, we want them to stagger out of this movie as though they've been to the top of K2. I didn't believe it. People are really blown away by what they're saying. Hi there. Did you know that you might actually be sitting on a pot of gold? Yes. 
If you're a movie lover and have some DVDs at home, some might be worth well into the thousands, such as the Complete the Monkey series or even just the Dragon Ball Z box set. Have a look at home. Remember to click below to subscribe and if you like this t-shirt, you can get one for yourself at the shop link in the description.